one. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'da habata fi Allah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa rahmatullahi. Wa barakatuh. Assalamualaikum kareem. رب العرش العظيم أن يتولنا في الدنيا والآخرة. We ask that our Lord Subhanahu wa Taala, the Almighty and Majestic, accepts our good and forgives our evil and protects us from kulli suwa makru. May Allah bless us with a class. والثبات على سنة النبي صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم أحبت في الله one of the reasons that the Muslim that the Salafi supplicates to Allah سبحانه وتعالى always asking for guidance is because none of us are guaranteed guidance None of us are guaranteed success. Because it's mushtarat. There are conditions. There are conditions if you want success. It doesn't come just by simply prayer without actions. And as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al kareem after a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim bismillahi ar-rahman ar-rahim wal asr inna l-insana lafi khusr illa al-ladhina amanu wa amalu al-salihati wa tawasu bil-haqqi wa tawasu bil-sabr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-mubin wal asr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by the time inna l-insana lafi khusr so by the time verily mankind is in a loss إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Except those who have faith. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمَلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ And they do righteous deeds. وَتَوَسُوا بِالْحَقِّ And they call to the truth. وَتَوَسُوا بِالصَّبْرِ And they call and they exhort one another to patience. So it lets us know that that our Iman and the path to success is not a lazy path. It's not a path where we can just sleep into paradise. Or slip or fall into paradise. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala began the ayat. He said, well, asr, by the time, which shows us the importance of time, inna l'insana lafi khusr, verily mankind is in a loss. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lets us know right off the get-go, mankind is in a loss. And I think it's so important for us to reflect and contemplate on this surah and this ayah and, and this is why uh, reflecting upon the Qur'an we find our success because then we find meaning in our life we find what, you know, what, what it's all about what we're trying to achieve our direction, our goals and how we can gain the success from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's through believing in the unseen that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says fi kitab al mubin after Ali, <coughs> Alif Lam Mim, ذلك الكتاب ذلك الكتاب ذلك ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه. He says Alif Lam Mim. Here is a book that contains no doubt. Hudin lil muttaqin. It's a guidance for the muttaqin. It's a guidance for the pious. Then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala also clarifies for us. Who those pious ones? Who the muttaqin? Aladina yu'minun bil ghayb. Those who believe in the unseen. Aladina yu'minun bil ghayb. They believe in the unseen. Wa yuqimun salat, and they establish the prayer. Wa min ma razaqna hum yunfikun, and from what we've provided for them, they spend. 
So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also let us know that a sifat of the mu'mineen, of the sifat, a sifa from the successful ones is that they believe in the unseen. They believe in the unseen. Huh. We have some predator that lives out here because I just saw a big scat. Uh, I guess you call it scat if it's from a coyote or a bobcat or a, or a cougar. I, doubt, I don't know what it was. But ala kulli hala habati fillah illa ladina amanu except those who have they believe. So again, we have to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to be of those who practice and implement tawheed. We have to strive our best to be from Ahl Khair. And this is a beautiful time for us to do so. That now that we're in, uh, you know, uh, the Dhul uh, Hijjah, we need to be striving, doing the righteous deeds, striving to come closer to Allah, striving to gain the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, striving to gain the success from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa ta'ala and be of those, have those uh, sifat of mu'mineen, have the sifat of the mu'mineen, the, 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 the traits of the believers and may Allah bless us all with those traits to be from Ahli Iman wa Sunnah. Ahabatu fillah, so when we supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this guidance, and we do it all the time. For example, in Surah Al-Fatiha, إِهْدِنَ الصَّرَاتُ Mustaqim, Guide us to the straight path. We're always asking and begging and imploring Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala to guide us to the straight path. When we supplicate, just with this simple supplication, أَسَلَ اللَّهِ لِلْإِخْلَاسِ وَالثَّبَاتِ I ask Allah for ikhlas, sincerity, and thabat, thabat meaning firmness. And this thabat is thabat in many, many ways. You're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for thabat on the surat al-mustaqim. You know, thabat, firmness on the straight path. You're also asking, which is inherent to that straight path, which is a part of that straight path, is that you're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for firmness on the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That you want firmness, you want your Lord, Tabaraka wa Ta'ala, to give you firmness on the Sunnah. Sunnah to Nabi, Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam. So this is also so important for the Muslim. It is so important for the Muslim. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. When we think about it, how many of our brothers and sisters, you know, the hidayah is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How many of our brothers and sisters, yes, they that we all make this same uh, dua because we supplicate uh, in Surah Al-Fatiha. But do we really all have the tawfiq and the success from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The answer is clearly no. It is clearly no because that hidayah and the hidayah to sunnah doesn't mean that you're just a Muslim and you barely pray. You're a sister, you wear a scarf. I mean, how many of our sisters, they compromise their deens in totality with what they refer to as hijab. That it's just devastating. It's just like you see non-Muslim women and men who cover better than them. Women and men. Let me give you an example. At my job, my workplace, there is a priest. And the priest, he covers better than a lot of our Muslim women that we have in the West. He, except he doesn't cover his head. But he wears this like a thobe. It's basically almost exactly like a thobe. And very loose, subhanAllah, and modest in that sense. You know? And we and our sisters wear jeans. They wear Levi's. Levi's like mine, but tighter. They wear a scarf. Alhamdulillah, at least some of them they're wearing scarves. But they wear t-shirts that show their whole bodies. So we have to ask ourselves, what kind of guidance do we really have and do we really want? And are, is our heart open truly to guidance in Iman? Are we doing that which is necessary to please Allah? And this is all of us. This isn't just, uh, you know, I'm not picking just upon some of our sisters, our brothers, and more importantly, myself. You know, all my sins is enough 
for all of us. And we don't, <laughs> that would be difficult for all of us to bear, but I have to bear them. So we have to seek forgiveness, mercy, and favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But at the same time, we have to be making effort to be better, to be better believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, eh, then a surah to mustaqim, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that guidance, guide us to the straight path. As Allah lil ikhlas with the bat, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for um, sincerity in our actions, in our acts of worship, and thabat, meaning that we are firm upon the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Firmness on the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Ahabatifillah, lastly, it, this time is a time for us to reflect and think about the duties our duties and our responsibilities to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to really think about the tawheed the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and are we actualizing tawheed and seeking the grace and the mercy and favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what are we striving to do and are we seeking the guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and trying to implement that by being sincere in our deeds and striving to be in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And on that note, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil, to protect us from kulli summa bless us with ikhlas, what the bad and bless us with success in both lives. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhab al-nar wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.